One common misconception is that natural selection acts through selfish behaviors and leads to immoral behavior. However, altruism, doing something good for the good of another, has evolved in various species over time. But organisms are selective for who they help. Three things organisms consider before they help out are 1. How closely they are related to the individual, 2. The benefit to the individual, and 3. The cost they will incur. This is known as Hamilton's Rule, and it shows what is required for altruism to evolve. RB minus C is greater than 0, where R is relatedness, B is benefit to the recipient, and C is cost to the helper. If the relatedness is high and the cost to me is low, altruism is very likely to evolve. J.B.S. Haldane once said, When asked whether he would lay down his life for his brother, he supposedly replied, two brothers or eight cousins. See if you can figure that out. How can we make sense of this? Or is he just really weird? Let's take, for example, a brother and a sister. So how do we calculate relatedness? Mom has two alleles, and Dad has two alleles. This is me. And here are all the possible combinations. If you average the alleles that I have with my siblings, you can see that I am related to one of my siblings on average with a relatedness coefficient of 0.5. You probably know someone who has exhibited altruistic behaviors in your life. Other organisms in nature do this too. Plants, for example. When sunlight is scarce, they will allocate more energy to leaf growth when they are grown with strangers than when grown with relatives. So that means they compete less. Another example is insect societies. They have divisions of labor so that while some reproduce, others work to defend the nest and gather food for the colony. When chimps are separated from each other and have different tools, they will communicate to help each other obtain the correct tools to complete a task. And lastly, meerkats. Meerkats work in groups to take care of their young. Even when they are only distantly related to the pups. So, next time your brother has a cookie, make sure he shares it with at least two of his siblings or eight of his cousins. The end. And thanks for watching.